what's going on guys so in this video I'm gonna explain the psychology of bait um, I like to say the psychology of bait because what we're doing in this you're, you're really trying to get in the heads of your people because if you can get in their heads before they even decide to click on anything you've already got them so you got to be able to like get in their heads based off of how you word things what you're trying to do how you're trying to get them you, you, you got to be able to capture their attention immediately okay so how do we do this ready you're targeting a specific person with a specific problem and giving them a specific solution keyword specific you need to be detailed meaning when you guys go out and you know you, you're doing your customer research and you're looking into like what exactly your specific niche of customers wants this is the type of stuff you need to be looking for you need to be looking for their number one question you need to be looking Okay, if I'm gonna target this type of person in this specific niche, what are some specific problems that these types of people may have and how do I solve it with a specific solution? You gotta tell them exactly what they want. Okay, when you do this, you're gonna set them up for what's called pre-framing, right? So now that we got pre-framing, you're getting them mentally prepared to be ready to see further interaction with what you have to offer. Meaning, all the stuff that you are showing them, all the, the, the bait, the headline, the things you're about to offer them, it needs to get them mentally prepared to get more information from you or to get the sale from you or to get your product. Because if you can get them mentally focused, if you can get them mentally like in the zone based off of the industry that you're in. So if you're in health, if you're trying to get them mentally in the health zone, where are getting free workouts, free uh, exercises, muscle gainers, uh, fat, fat loss. Like if you can get them like pre-framed to understand that, yeah, okay, this is about losing weight. This is about gaining muscle. What's going to happen is when you start leading them on to the next, you know, pages of your funnels, you could start hitting them and sending them to your sales pages of the products that have to get them better based off of the information they got. So if they get a free cheat sheet or a seven simple steps on how to lose fat and you offer them a fat burner, it's obviously going to make sense with what they just got because you're giving them, you're, you're literally telling them how to lose fat and now you're helping them incentivize it by increasing it. So now they have more of a reason to buy your fat burner because you pre-frame them to be ready for a fat burner. So think about what your company is and how you could do that. Um, the bait value. Uh, this is something your bait about bait is your bait something of value that you might have to question about putting on a price. So if you just come up with like a quick two second like free cheat sheet type thing, is that gonna be worth it to them? No, you don't want to literally have something so shitty that you know for a fact you just give this out for free because it's not that meaningful. You need to make something like a little bit in depth. So yes, you got to take some time to put this stuff together. And then if you can, if you could put a price on it, then you send it for free. Like if you know you, if you have to sit here and question about putting a price on your free offer, then it's good to, for you to use to, as a free offer because you know that you could probably sell this, this little, like these notes, these nuggets, these exercises, these tips, somewhere to someone and they'll buy it so it's like you got to understand that it's not just something free that you just put together in two seconds like it's got to be of actual value that you know you could sell it for and if you can that's the one you're going to use and that's how you're going to get it give it out for free okay uh bait specifics are you making a specific promise about the number one thing your customer wants to have or know based on customer research so now i told you they're looking for something they're looking for answers to a specific problem that they're having in their specific niche. So you need to give them a promise. You need to make them a specific promise in regards to that offer that you're giving them based on the customer research that you've done. If you can't give them what they want, they're not gonna, you're not gonna click on it. You need to be able to give them what they want. And how do you do it? Customer research. You need to be looking into the solutions to these problems that your customers are having. So if you can give them a specific solution and promise them a result, promise them something that they could use, then they could, they'll, they'll be more likely to get it, something that they could use immediately, right? The next one is the aha moment. Does your bait give the customer an aha moment that they need in order to get the specific offer? So when you're doing something like, let's just say they want to see some sort of back office and it's, some, it's something that they've never been able to understand because they never got shown it, right? What you're going to do is like in your free offer, you're going to show them like the breakdown of how the back office worked and they're going to be like, oh, okay, that's how he does it. That's how it works. You got to give them that like, okay, now I see, aha, makes sense. If you can make them do that, maybe if let's just say for lifting, 
right? Maybe you, you show them how to do the bench press the right way and you're trying to show it to newbies, right? So what you do is you get a video of you doing the right bench press, the right form, and they're going to, oh, that's how you clutch the weight. That's how you, you know, get tight up front. That's how you, that, the 90 degree angle, oh, that's how you do it. You got to give them that like, okay, now they're, now they're engaged. You, you help them. All, before you even gave out what the offer was, you already were just like, <laughs> you already got them like, okay, this makes sense. That's how you do it. Okay. So now they have the aha moment. Now they're more likely to you know, stay engaged, which is something that you want them to do. You want to give them that moment where they can, I got information. This is dope. Hell yes. Right. And the immediate gratification, does your bait allow the customer to receive the offer immediately and not days later? Obviously, um, when it comes to this stuff, you want to be able to give it out like ASAP. So when, as soon as they, you know, opt in, give you their name and their email, like give it to them so that they can use it one now. Okay. Two and two, something that they can implement as soon as they start using it. Right. Not just something that, okay, here's the, here's the free offer. And then you automatically have to wait a week before you can actually use it. Like give them a tip or something that they could use as soon as they get it, they could use it that day. Cause if you can give it to them that day, they are more likely to click on it. It's, a, it's like a person, you, you guys understand the, the, the psychology of humans and the way we are in this, within this day and age with all this technology and stuff, everybody wants everything in their face right now. They want the answers right now, today, not tomorrow, right now. So you got to give it to them. Go give it to what the people want. They want it right now. So give them something they can implement as we speak. Cause now again, if they can, that gives them even more of a, a reason to get, your offer for free right now. You know what I mean? And then obviously there's, there's this five minute rule. Um, you don't want to have it. You don't want to have something that's going to be there for an hour. That's going to take them that long to set up, right? It's got to be able to be consumed in like five minutes or less. Um, they need to be able to understand it quickly. So that's why you need to go into detail. Like what I was saying to you guys before, they need to be able to, to understand something very quickly. So you have to go into detail and actually put time into making this stuff because if you can give it the right, if you can give them real value, something that you know is not cheap and something that you can go into depth with and they can consume that in less than five minutes, like, you know, tips, it's all you, and maybe some quick videos or whatever, they're more likely to watch. They're more likely to read. They're more likely to actually implement it and use it. The only thing that doesn't work for this is webinars because obviously if you do webinars and, you know, for those of you that are doing businesses out there, it webinars are not five minutes like videos are five minutes right so like one thing like i, I learned from dan henry is you don't want to say hey come and check out this one this free one uh this free hour and a half video right you don't want to say come check out this free hour and a half video on how i was able to do this with this you want to do hey come check out this free webinar in order to check out this and this whatever and the reason why i'm saying this is because there's a difference between the word video and webinar. When you hear video, it's just like a regular video, like something you can just search on YouTube, something that may not even be important. But if you say webinar, it's more of a psychological twist where now they think it's more serious because when you ever hear the term webinar, when it's, not ha when it's not being used for training or some sort of information being given, it, it's like this. It, people look at it in a more professional way. They actually see the word webinar and they're like, this must be something valuable. This must be something I can learn. This is a training. This isn't just a video, just a bullshit. Like this is something real. So now you're going to pre, so if you tie all this together with a specific person, specific problem and a specific solution, solution, you're pre-framing them. Does your value have bait? If it's not for, if, can you actually put some sort of, you know, currency on it? Can you have people pay for it? Uh, the specifics, are you giving them a number, uh, a specific promise for the number one thing your customer wants to have or no? Um, are they having an aha moment? Do they get it immediately and they can, can they use it that day? And is it less than five minutes? Can they implement it with less than five minutes? If you guys can get all this stuff down, um, you guys are going to be good. And like I said here, Dan Henry kind of was a big help for this. So guys, well, any more tonight, <laughs> getting messages, but guys implement this stuff. I promise you, you, it will change the way you see it. Would it would change the way that you actually, you know, come up with the bait. Um, because psycho psychology and this type of stuff, guys, it is, it is huge. It really is. You need to be able to understand your customers before they even decide to buy from you. So when they're going through your entire process, they feel like they are home. They feel like this is the answer they've been looking for. If you can get them, if you can get them to be, to feel like that. My God, you, your, your sales are going to go through the roof. Okay. So 
guys, that's the psychology of bait. That's why we use it. And hope you guys learned something. Talk to you later.